Okay, y'all, I am trying something and hopefully this will work as a natural deterrent for the ants. So what I have done is I had some water, some onion peels, and some pepper flakes. I had it in this container for, oh, about two months. <laughs> it's been in there a while. And uh, so now I strained it and everything. And here is the liquid. We're gonna take it outside and see if this detours those ants off of my um, okra because you know they are messing up my okra harvest hey y'all welcome to CC's Texas garden if this is your first time here I'm Cynthia welcome to the channel all that y'all have been here welcome back y'all okay so we're gonna go out here it is very gloomy misty uh, rainy kind of day but we're gonna still go out here to the garden because I want to test this formula if this works this is gonna be amazing for those ants it's be a natural deterrent it won't affect the okra you know because I I want to be able to harvest some of my okra and these ants are not letting me be successful with that and I also wanted to show you my flower bed and no I have not moved my riddle raised bed yet that is on the plans of today but I want to show you how beautiful these flowers are look at that that's that one these 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 look at the sunflower got those but let me show you this gorgeous baby over here and I'll be harvesting her as well let me come on around here She's a sunflower as well. Look at that. Isn't she beautiful? Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at this one like, me too, I'm pretty too. Yes you are. I like that orange color. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? I'm going to harvest it. Even though she is trying to get some heads on the back of her. But maybe I shouldn't harvest her yet. Hmm. I don't know. So... What the raised bed is looking like. I have cucumbers planted out. These was the ones that was in my tray. I planted those out so they can already be, and they've already gotten a little bigger since they've been there and they started putting out their true leaf. Uh, There's nothing here in the front part of this bed. I'm thinking about putting my squash, at least two of the squash here. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about having two just out in the open and have the other one still covered in netting and see um, if the squash line board is still out. So as for these, you can tell that I need to have some more soil put in these. Um, with the rain and everything, it kind of made it all lumpy and stuff. But yeah, need more soil in them. I've noticed my female um, squash is open this morning. And it's no males available. Look at that. She is open this morning. That is a female. You can see the fruit on the back of her. She is open this morning. And I don't think I have a male available. I'm going to have to dig in there and see. But look at the size of these leaves. Let me put my hand here. Y'all. Look. It's like two hands. These are the most biggest, beautiful acorn leaves ever yeah all right we're gonna go around here like i said this is another bed that needs some more soil in it come around these are gorgeous as well all these pink zinnias look at that that's just so cute my daughter's birthday is coming up soon i wish they maybe they'll stay Long enough for me to be able to get her a flower bouquet. I don't know if they will. Okay. So we're going to come around here. Now this is a bed that I have my red mustard and my Florida uh, mustards in here. And you can see some of them have came up and other ones didn't. So I planted some more mustard greens in here. Because I want this thing packed with them. 
I want this pack with green, green and red mustards. All right. So then we have these beds here. Like I said, more soil. Um, they are looking good. I think I'm gonna leave them right here, at least until the spring. I may move them around then. Um, this has marigolds in here and a couple peppers. So I'm probably gonna move this around too. The marigolds will die out as winter come. We got some bok choy over here in our little tray that has popped up. Of course, we have some bok choy and some baby bok choy and some purple lady bok choy down there. So, let's look at our broccoli. Okay. I mean, it's coming along. It's still got to get used to, you know, it just had the shock of coming from hydroponics into the soil out in the elements but it's doing pretty good i don't see any bolting happening i have it in the area where it gets uh shade most of the day until the afternoon so they seem to be doing good with that so we have our spray bottle now we just gotta find these pesky ants which shouldn't be hard to do because they like to be there look at that okay Let's see they are on my okra flowers. They're just trying to live their best life. They are just trying to produce for me. Okay? So, we're going to spray this and see if it makes them start running at least. Let's see. If they like, oh, who cares? Okay. they like, ugh. That pepper and onions this morning? Mmm. It ain't making them move fast. But they are moving. They're moving the wrong way. Y'all supposed to be going down. Down to stop. We're going to come back and check and see what they're doing. Let's see if we can go ahead. And, um, oh, let's look at, since I'm over here, by my Roselle. Look at my Roselle, y'all. Look at them looking like little trees. That's what they're supposed to look like. So, um, this one here, I don't see any flower buds on it yet. Now, this over here, it does have some little small this is where the flowers will start first see those little calluses them little they're not calluses um but i don't know what to call them I forgot what they call them calyx or something right there that's where the little flowers are going to come out from this big tree here i'm not seeing any on yet but this one over here has some back here as well the little bitty ones so as the time as the days get shorter i'll start getting more on here but look at my trees y'all that's looking nice i know the okra kind of you know overshadowing them because they're so tall <laughs> but yeah let's see let's spray some more of these Let's see if it makes aphids want to leave because of the. <clears throat> well, we can come back over here and it looks like they're back to work. Maybe some of them have went off of there, but they're like, okay, I don't know what that was. But um, I'm trying to do a natural way of getting rid of these ants, y'all. You know, they are moving around. They're like, What is this? What is this peppery rain we get? Hmm, I don't know. We'll see if that, that helps. Yeah. 
I see many okra I need to harvest. Some of them have went way past their time. And I have to get in here with these ants. <laughs> That's what I was wanting to not do. But I need to harvest these uh, okra. Y'all look at this army worm. You see him? He just stretched all out. I guess he's taking a nap. And because he's not, un usually they be on the ground. See how he matches the soil? That is how it's hard to see an army worm. But yeah, his butt is up here this morning. I'm going to grab him with my glove on. Yep. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's how they match the soil color. Look. Oh, it's a whole ant pile. Oh, my gosh. These ants are ridiculous. But look how he matches the soil. That's how it's hard to see army worms. I'm going to get rid of him this morning. He is no longer with us. No. But I'm just noticed. Look at these ants are just so disrespectful. Look at that. I mean, they have a whole family thing going on. Family reunion. Oh my goodness. No, no. We're not having ants in the bed. But yeah, that army worm was eating. Look at how much he was tearing up them leaves. He's probably not by himself. Let me see. I mean, he was going to work on my little cucumber over here. Yeah, that was his butt all stretched out. Look, there's some more ants. Oh my gosh. Y'all, these ants. So rude. Right? Oh, I wanted to show y'all how my seedling update is doing. My sweet Creole onions are coming up more. Red Russian kale, golden cabbage, big daddy green, greasy greens. This is a savoy cabbage, rutabaga, Swiss chard, um, Fort Hood. So these are bigger ones. There's some red onions, white karabi. It's not doing as well. These onions have not came up. The Burnswick onions haven't. This is uh, scalloped uh, squash. We have purple karabi. We have quinoa. Indian, uh, India mustard greens. Purple karabi. Flat Dutch cabbage. Georgia collards. Um, cabbage Cord de Bleu right here these two then uh, red acre cabbage we have some rainbow Swiss chard some Copenhagen cabbage some Savoy purple cabbage yeah these are all Savoy purple cabbage then we have um, lacinato kale talk soy hasn't came up this talk soy did back there that one did and this is, what is the name of that? Oh, this is a Casper eggplant. These are two eggplants. But I'm going to drop more seeds. So um, I'm putting another tray out here and start dropping some more seeds because succession planting, y'all. Because I don't know if these are going to survive after I put them out. And so I want to have a good um, ratio of plants. All my herbs are doing really, really well. They smell so wonderful in this area. <laughs> so here's my okra harvest that I can actually harvest. The other ones were so huge, thick, and just, mm -mm, I couldn't do nothing with them. So I just have this little collection this morning of them. Here is my flowers that I got from Lowe's. I haven't figured out where I want to plant them out yet. Here are some other flowers that are coming up. These are a beautiful type of flower. They are um, Galzania. I think that's how you say it. Or not Gal. It's Jazania. Anyway, they're like whimsical looking flowers. So I just put them in this little tray here. I see ants are in here as well. Um, but yeah, we're going to have some little whimsical looking flowers coming up. We have a Toxoy popping up right here. I 
let's look at our other little trays that we have planted out. I don't see any oregano, sage, or um, lime balm yet in this one. But look at this basil. Did I say what kind of basil it is? Nope. This must be the sweet basil because I didn't label it more than basil. Sweet basils. They are doing wonderful. Here is our rainbow blend deal. Nope, nope, nope. These are our deal. <laughs> and it's not rainbow deal. That would be cool if they did have rainbow deal. This is just regular deal. These are the stackables that I just got from Dollar Tree. You can also use these. These don't have to be something that you uh, use the whole time to keep your plant in. This could be like a sales tray. So you can really um, fill it up and then pick out the flowers or plants that you want to move wherever. They don't have to stay in this container. But it's a nice stackable. They're only $1.25 each on these. Um, we have plenty of these because I like using them. Uh, like I said, I kept my watermelon leaves <laughs> in this bed. We still have to November. So that gives me a few months. If a watermelon did want to show up, I have seen some female... Uh, I don't know if they got pollinated or not in here, but I did see some female watermelon. But I don't know if the ants or the whatever is over here pollinating them yet. There may be some hidden in there. I don't know. But, yeah, it's more of a cover for my squash. I do have a squash down here at the bottom. And like I said, I don't know if it got pollinated. I don't think it did, y'all. I don't think she got pollinated because she's yellow. Nope. I don't think she did. She's sitting there yellow. That means she probably did not get pollinated. Oh, that's sad. Alright, so we have this one ready to be pollinated this morning. And we don't have a male that's available. So that's sad as well. <laughs> All right. So I am going to get off this video. Like I said, I'm going to be harvesting uh, those flowers to make a cute little flower bouquet. I'll probably put it on a short. I grab these over here from the other little flower garden. I think these are cute. So yeah. Look forward to that. I'll probably post that. Uh, yeah, I'll make a short of me doing that. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed our little mini look around tour. And uh, that onion water solution did not work. <laughs> that did not um, detour those pesky ants. I'm going to have to figure out something else to do um, to get rid of them. <laughs>